It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. We were removed from a plane due to our size. Flight attendants called it an inconvenience. Guys, remember we were saying the other day they don't tell people where to move on a plane based on how big you are? I was totally wrong. Look, someone here, she's moved because of her size. They have weight imbalance. It's a thing. I, I totally, I'm going to reference right here over my shoulder the video where I said you can't get a weight imbalance. They never tell you, ask you how, how big you are when you book a flight. Uh, how much are you weighing, sir, in kilograms or pounds? They ask how heavy our bags are. You can't be weighing more than 50 pounds in the bag. Okay, that, that's fine. You didn't say there's, I can't be more than 350, 400. I'm heifering it. I'm coming through. You know what I mean? I'm three foot five, job of the hut style. I'm walking through. You got to create a whole new entrance for me into the plane. All right. Anyway, let's see. Harding and her pal were assisted with wheelchairs were allegedly shuffled off to the side and left with an airport worker while the other passengers disembarked. We missed the first part of the story, guys. I don't know how the hell I got that far. <laughs> well, how do we get all the way down here? I'm like down at the very bottom. Like we missed the whole story. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, well they were sitting on the side there. What the hell happened first? How'd you get there? I love the earrings, by the way. That's a look. Sky's the limit, uh, but not on this airline. A female passenger claimed that she and her friend were allegedly ordered off an Air New Zealand flight due to their size, right? In, in New Zealand, they're doing that, right? Flight of the Concords, right? I just couldn't believe what was happening to me, Angel Harding told One News, of the traumatizing incident, which allegedly occurred on a flight from Napier to Auckland. The pair had reportedly been returning from a Hawaii in Hastings, having flown from carry carry to Auckland and then Auckland to Napier without an issue. We were fine. We just, I sat on this side. She sat on that side. We were doing it. Everything was fine. The woman said she was looking out the window while the plane was taxiing on the tarmac and all of a sudden she felt a sharp pain. And that's when she allegedly turned to see a flight attendant slamming the armrest down on her arm. Excuse me, ma'am. Move your arm. We got to put this armrest down. We're about to take off from carry carry to Auckland, wherever the hell we're leaving from. I was kind of in shock, she said. I moved forward, and she started yelling to me that the pilot can't take off unless all the armrests are down. Move your stupid arm. I'm gonna break it. I'm getting it down. Look, if we can't break your arm, to put down this middle divider here, you're gonna have to get off the plane. Harden claimed the flight attendant only relented when she asked her to stop. At that point, her appalled friend, who was sitting next to her, confronted the crew member over her alleged behavior. But this only exacerbated the situation. She said, don't you think you should be seated if the plane is in motion? Harding claimed, and then the flight attendant looked at both of them and said, I can get you both kicked off this flight. You know what I'm saying? You got a problem with me? I'm going to take you out. Armrest, down. Now, mother, Arr! you know, and everybody's looking around. They're like, I'm just trying to put my luggage away, you know? Shortly after the air hostess announced over the intercom that everyone would be, would need to deplane due to the inconvenience. An inconvenient wait. Her, before reportedly walking back down the aisle, aisle to berate Harding and her friend, did they get it on video? She should have gotten it on video. That would have been awesome. She came over and she said, you two have booked four seats. You two should have bought two seats each. What? You two should have booked four seats. You two should have booked two seats each. Harding said she was subsequently informed that she'd have to book four seats should she ever fly Air New Zealand in the future. <laughs> what in the f***ing heck? How big was she? Harding and her pal who assisted with wheelchairs, that remember we talked about this very beginning, sat on the side, waiting for the airport to make a decision. Kathleen Tuahuay Huaramate nailed it, by the way. <laughs> she was flying with the duo but had a separate seat. She was devastated upon realizing what had transpired. I just want to point that. I nailed that freaking name, okay? Uh, as I pushed back out of the plane, I looked back and saw them both crying. And I was crying. It was just so sad leaving them behind, you know, because I only needed one seat. While the airline didn't give an explanation for the removal, Harding believes they'd, be, they'd been discriminated against because of their weight. 
It was the armrest, honestly. My thoughts are they took me off because of my build. Because of my size, she said. As to myself and our build, our size has a lot to do with it. They didn't say it was, they said it was an inconvenience. She said she found their treatment particularly jarring as she hadn't had any problems on flights out with the airline. To make it worse, Harden claims that she was told that she needed to rebook another flight to accommodate them, which wouldn't be available until Sunday due to soaring demand. When the pair informed Air New Zealand they couldn't afford the ticket, the airline footed the bill. They also covered accommodations, meals, and even granted them free access to exclusive Kuru Lounge while ironing out the details. Well, I gotta say, you did a nice thing there, Air, Air New Zealand. They even issued a formal apology to the pair, to the quad. I don't know, we're trying to figure that one out. We are committed to treating all customers with respect and dignity. And we apologize to these customers and how they were received with inconsistent experience, an inconsistent experience. We will continue to work with the customer directly to address their concerns. However, it's strongly suggested and recommended the passengers contact them before boarding if they require extra space on board for their build, claiming that the flight staff would try to accommodate them if possible. What do you guys think about that? Anyway, guys, she's getting a four-pack of seats next time she flies. That's, that's the bottom line for that lady. Kobe Bryant's parents face backlash after putting championship ring on the auction block. I get it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.